Sounds good? Okay, so first off, let's review some of the planets that we've already learned. We've already learned five planets. Anybody remember the very first planet that we learned that's closest to the sun? Do. <coughs> Remember that? I know the first letter, but I forgot the name. What's the first letter? Um, I don't know. The first letter is, um, um, oh, um, dang, I forgot the first letter. You forgot? Anybody want to help them out? What's the first planet that's closest to the sun? Dominic. Mercury. Very good. Mercury's our first planet. Remember, it's our tiniest planet that we've got. Um, what about our second planet? What's the second planet that's closest to the sun? Gabe? Venus, very good. Remember, you got the number two and it kind of makes the letter V. And Venus was most similar to Earth um, in size. <clears throat> what about our third planet? That's an easy one. What's our third planet from the sun, E? Mars? Uh, think about it. Think about it. You're super close. We have Mercury, then Venus. What comes right after Venus, Max? Earth, yeah, Earth, that's our planet. What about the fourth planet? Fourth planet, that's what we're gonna think of, Legend. You got it, Legend? Taurus, what's our fourth planet? Mars. Mars, yeah. So we got Mercury, Venus, Earth, then Mars. Then after, that's all of our inner planets. Those are those rocky planets. Remember, they're all made of different rock. <clears throat> after our rocky planets comes something. I talked about yesterday. Anybody remember what that's called? It's made of rock. It rotates around. It's lots of rock. Anybody remember what that's called, Mia? <clears throat> the moon? Not the moon. Good guess, though. It's got lots of rock that rotates and it separates the inner planets from the outer planets. <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. It's got the word belt in it. Something belt. Roman? Meteor belt. Close. Asteroid belt. Asteroid belt. <clears throat> Yeah, we've got the asteroid belt. Very good. So that separates those inner and outer planets. What about our first outer planet, the fifth planet from the sun? It's the biggest planet. It's got the big red spot on it. <clears throat> Dominic? Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah, we've got Jupiter that comes next. That's one of the biggest planets. All right. Today, our sixth planet that we're going to talk about is the planet Saturn, Saturn. And Saturn is the planet that you see in pictures that has those rings around it. Raise your hand if you think you've ever seen that picture before of the planet with the rings around it. <coughs> yeah, very good. That is, Eve, you can't shout out, baby. It, Eva, you can't shout out, we're in the middle of teaching. Okay, so Saturn, um, Jupiter we learned about yesterday has got some rings around it, but we can't see it. But Saturn has got those rings that we can really see around it. And it's really pretty. Oh, let's see, here comes another friend coming in. All right. There we go, hey Thompson. Hey Thompson. Here comes another Hi, friend. Thompson. Hey. Hey, Ella. All right, so let's move on with our sixth planet, which is Saturn. It's got all those rings. So the really pretty cool thing about Saturn is it's our second largest planet in our solar system. So the first largest we know is Jupiter, and it's super heavy and super big. But the second planet, second largest planet is Saturn. But guess what's weird about Saturn? 
It's so big, you would think it would be super heavy, right? It's not. It's actually really light. It's really dense because of all those gases. It's made up of a lot of hydrogen and helium, which are super light gases. So if we had an ocean that was big enough to fit the planet Saturn into it, guess what would happen? Do you think it would sink to the bottom or do you think it would float? Float. Yeah, it's so light, it would float. Whereas Jupiter is super heavy, it would sink. And Saturn, Earth is gonna be like this big compared to Saturn, which is like massive. It's super big compared to it. But guess what? Because it's so light, do you think you're gonna weigh more or less on Saturn? Less. Yeah, you're not way less. That's I thought way less too, but Miss Bowden found out that if you weighed 150 pounds on Earth, you would really only weigh 137 pounds on Saturn. So it's about a 13 pound difference, a 13 pound difference in being lighter. So it's not much lighter, but it's still lighter. And it's funny because Saturn is so big compared to tiny little Earth. Pretty cool facts, huh? Okay, who can raise their hand and tell me, how long does it take Earth to make one day? When Earth has been on its axis, how long does it take to make one day? Eva. Um, 24? 24 hours, yeah. <clears throat> 24 hours, 24 hours to make one day to spin. Guess how long it takes Saturn to make one day. <clears throat> Anybody wanna take a guess? How many hours, Jude? Um, that, like, I think it's like, I know it has, like, it has to be Not that many hours in a day. That's a lot of hours. It's got way less. So Earth's got 24 hours to make a day. Saturn has got 10 hours to make a day. 10.7, almost 11 hours in one day. So it's similar to Jupiter. If you would make on one Earth day, it would actually be two days on Saturn. That's pretty cool, huh? And then guess how long it would take how long does it take Earth to make one year around the sun? Who remembers that? How many days does it take Earth to go around the entire sun? <clears throat> Dominic, you got that one? <clears throat> 365 days. Very good. Yeah. Guess how many years it takes Saturn to go around the entire sun. Mia, you want to guess? Maybe 27. <gasps> you are so close, Mia. It's 29. So close. That was a great guess. 29 and a half years for Saturn to go around one time. So guess what? Miss Bowden would barely be a year old on Saturn. Isn't that crazy? Your mommy and daddy would also only be a year old on Saturn. Isn't that crazy? That's cuckoo. <clears throat> that is so cuckoo. Yeah. All right. Remember I told you guys Jupiter had a ton of moons yesterday and had so many moons? Saturn has just as many moons as Jupiter. It's got 53 moons that they already have names for and there are 29 unconfirmed moons on there. So it has just as many as Jupiter. But Jupiter has got the biggest moon in the entire solar system. Saturn has got the second biggest moon. And that moon on Saturn is so neat. You want to know why? Why? It's similar to Earth, almost. Its name is Titan. And it's got an atmosphere, just like Earth has an atmosphere. And it's got rocks and mountains and valleys in it. And guess what else? They, it looks like there's water on it, but there's really not water on it. You know what it's like? They said 
on the surface where the water would be, it's like pudding. That's the texture. How many guys know what pudding feels like? Pudding is like really kind of gooey and mushy. Yeah, that's kind of- It feels like slime. Yeah, so think of that moon instead of water. Think of like slime at the bottom of it. Isn't that pretty cool? And then they have, they have some similar characteristics in order to make possibly some life over there, which is really cool, Miss Bowden thought. You know who discovered Saturn? The same scientist who discovered Jupiter, Galileo. He saw Saturn from a telescope, but guess what? He thought it was three planets, not just one, because he didn't know what the rings were. He thought that it was just one planet and then either handles or he, you know what he described it as? Ears. It was like the face with two ears on the side of it because he wasn't sure what those objects were on the side of it. That's pretty funny. But then later on, scientists had taken pictures and discovered that it's really the rings. You want to know how many layers of rings they have? Seven, seven different layers of rings. And the rings are actually really, really thin. So if like you were to get eye level with them, you almost couldn't see them. And those rings, anybody want to take a guess of what they think the rings are made of? Eve? Gases. Good guess, not gases, good guess. Legend? Legend, you want to take a guess? Yes. Is it me meteorites? Very close, very close, Roman. Uh, dirt and rock. Dirt and rock, yeah, super, super close. Jude? Um, meteors? Meteors, it's super, super meteor close. Belt, I mean, the, um, um, the asteroids? Super, super close. Dominic? Rock. rock, super, super close. Taurus? Oh, ice. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Taurus, you got a guess? Fire. Fire. No way. <laughs> Saturn's uh, rings are made up of, like Dominic said, ice and rock. And guess what? It's all kind of frozen ice. But scientists aren't sure of how those rings came about. You know what they think, how the rings were made? What? They think that some of comets or asteroids or even some of Saturn's moons collided with each other and they broke apart. And because Saturn has got a strong magnetic field and gravitational pull, they started going around and circle it, spinning it really, really fast. You think that's pretty cool? And then over time, you know what else happened? Those rocks kept hitting and hitting and hitting and breaking into smaller and smaller pieces. And so the, the rings, they have seven different layers of those rings. And some are super duper light and some are super duper dark and heavy and full of those, um, the ice particles that are floating around that they go so fast that a rocket ship could not fly through it because it would get damaged and it would break from all of the rocks hitting it. So remember how I told you guys the asteroid belt is super spread apart and so you could fly through it? You can't fly through Saturn's rings because it's got so much icy particles that are stuck together that's going super, super fast around it that nothing would be able to get through. Pretty crazy, huh? Mm hmm And then Saturn, like <clears throat> Saturn yeah. is also made of lots of gases that it's got a lot of different storms on it. And those storms have winds that are probably some of the most powerful winds in the solar system. They go super duper fast. Remember how I told you Jupiter kind of condenses and bulges out in the middle? Saturn does the same thing yes. because it spins so fast going around. One more really cool fact. You know how we have a North Pole and a South Pole? 
Yes. Okay, Saturn on their north North Pole. It's got a shape that we learned about, a 2D shape we learned about. And it's an image that you can see it on the top. I'm going to give you clues. I want you to guess what 2D shape is on the top of Saturn. Okay, ready? It's going to be an easy one. Six sides and six, six angles. What shape is that? Ready? Shout it out. One, two, three. Hexagon. Hexagon. Yeah. So on the top of Saturn, on the North Pole... The North Pole is shaped like a hexagon. Isn't that crazy? And on the pictures, and on the pictures that they took of Saturn, you can see a blue hexagon on the top, and it's winds that circle around that hexagon. Isn't that nuts to think about that? Yeah. Are you guys enjoying learning about Saturn? Yeah. yeah, I wish I could show you guys some pictures on my computer, but it's hard to, um, I don't think I can flip my screen around or, or show you pictures of it, but I am going to send you that video and those websites about Saturn so you guys can go see those cool videos of it, okay?